Hello, so in this tutorial I want to show you how to use the calculator block in um, Aspen. I'm specifically using Aspen V8.6. Um, so, just to make you a bit familiar with the simulation, this um, simulation I constructed, I'm using the ideal gas law and the components I've inserted is N2 and O2. So, basically in this simulation, I'm just waiting for this slow computer of mine. Okay, so basically what happens here is air comes in and it's enriched with oxygen. And what we want to do is um, specify the amount of oxygen that is in this enriched stream. So this we will do by going to flow sheeting options, um, calculator, insert a new calculator and we're going to call it enrich. And now for the variables. Okay, and if you don't see this um, variable, uh, um, like where you can input the variables, it's probably this thing that you just have to click on. Okay, so I'm going to call my first variable um, O2, let's call it uh, air O2. Um, Okay, the variable name, um, and let's call the oxygen stream oxygen. Okay, so that's going to be the air that comes in through uh, the oxygen that comes through um, the airline and the o uh, oxygen of the oxygen supply. So then we go to streams okay and we are now going to define the oxygen variable and this is a no, null flow streams it's going to be the oxygen stream and component is O2 okay next variable is the oxygen in the air it's also null flow stream is um, to be the air component O2. Okay, with that finished, um, okay, oh, first of all, you have to um, say what is the import variable and what is the export variable. Yeah, we want to vary um, this oxygen stream. So, I'm going to say that, okay, say we want the total amount of oxygen in the enriched stream to be 50 moles. I think it's per hour, or 50 kilomoles per hour, I can't remember. Okay, we're just going to define a another variable as total O2, and we want 50 moles per second of moles per hour um, going through the enriched stream and then um, done we want to do this by changing the oxygen stream so it's oxygen is equal to total O2 plus a uh, minus air O2. I just want to make sure that I'm using the right yeah air O2. Okay, so everything is fine here. Let's run and see what we get. 
Okay, no errors. And there you have it. 50, what's this? Kilomoles per hour of oxygen in the enriched stream. I hope this helps you.